Hi everybody, welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. And we are doing the last page kit in the whole kit and caboodle with the Sunflower Market by Cartabella. And now we get to make base pages after we get today's video done. So it's gonna be fun. If you are the first time here, I'd be honored if you liked and subscribed. For all of you, my wonderful, beautiful, amazing scrappy buddies, if you would give me a thumbs up, I would appreciate it so much. It helps my channel grow and it helps others find us and join us and we just all gotta have fun together, right? Okay, so let's just have some fun. Now I know there is some glare and I am really sorry for that, but when I do these two page layouts, that if there's no getting around it. Like I am going to have glare. So for that, I apologize. Um, I was inspired this layout. Now, disclaimer, <laughs> right? This is an Allison Davis sketch and it is from a four by six class. However, it is not the current class. It is from the year 2020. It is two years old. And therefore I'm okay with sharing the sketch because you can go and buy it on scrapbook.com. Um, so again, this is not her current class that she is doing. This is two years old because I would not want to disrespect her at all. I literally cannot come up with a way to make these photos fit because I have some going horizontal, some going vertical. If you have never checked out or um, bought one of Allison's classes, hmm, you need to do that. 15 bucks. And let me tell you, I two years old and I'm still referencing it. I put mine in a binder. I can even show you my binder. I'm kind of excited because this weekend we're going to go through notebooks and how I, I organize stuff. But I just have a binder and you'll see Allison Davis and I have the six by six and so on. Debbie's from Scrapbook Generations. I even have page maps in the back here. It's getting full, so I need to make page maps. It needs to have its own binder. But um, this is how I do it. And I just put a little tab for each class. This one came out of this four by six series. And you can see right here, um, let's see, I know it had a date on it. I meant 2020 is when I printed it out. So it might even be older than that, but I'm pretty sure that's, it was in um, May. Five? Yeah, May of 2020. I don't know what the fifth month of the year is. <laughs> okay, so just take a binder and do that because, and I just have them sitting right above me on my shelf. You might, my camera might shake a little while I put it back. So this is where my sketch inspiration came from. I almost did it to the letter. I really did because I love this sketch. Now I am not going to stitch. Allison is known for stitching. I'm too lazy to get out my sewing machine. I am. And I do not want to take the time to do floss, but it would be pretty. Don't get me wrong. Um, I thought about taking my um, Sharpie and doing the old school, um, just little marks, which I think would be pretty too. If you did it in black, it would kind of pop out, but I'm too lazy again. I'm not gonna lie, I am. I have my journaling block. Mine is a little bit wider than hers because um, I have a lot to journal on this page. The last couple, you guys, the last couple mm, of layouts have been emotional for me. This is from when we were in our RV. We sold our house, it sold in literally less than 24 hours. And we stayed in our RV for almost nine months before we decided one, we didn't know where we were going to move. Obviously, we moved to Texas. Two, we just weren't sure exactly what we were going to do. I mean, at that time, we were debating, do we go back to Montana? Do we stay in Colorado? Do we um, go to somewhere new? Obviously, we went somewhere new, and we all love it here. But during that time, staying in an RV with two kids, which my RV is ginormous. Like, they literally had their own room with a door. I'm not kidding. But it's still a lot of change and it was um, really hard on our daughter. Jill had a really hard time. <laughs> so we found things to do, right? And my husband is the best dad. So my title, the reason I'm getting to all this, I can't talk about it anymore, I'm gonna cry. So the reason I'm getting all this is so that you understand my title. Um, and it's called Girl Dad Adventures, my husband. Oh, if you guys knew my husband, <laughs> he's a big guy and he's an oil field guy. Like he's not your dainty, <laughs> he's a guy's guy. But boy, when it comes to his little girl, he will do anything. So here he is sitting at the RV during COVID on top of it all, right? 
and he's sitting at the RV table and he is doing a diamond painting with our daughter. And I just, it's just precious and I don't want her to ever forget it. So this is actually the second time I've scrapped it. This one is for her book. She likes green, she likes teals. So she doesn't so much into the floral, but you know, mom's gotta have her touch on it too. <laughs> so Girl Dad Adventures is my title and that's where it came from because I don't know a lot of grown men that'll sit and do a sunflower diamond painting with their 12 year old daughter, but my husband will without even hesitation. So I'm not sure where this is gonna land. In Allison's sketch, she has it across here. I don't really know if I like it across there. I mean, I guess it would work. Um, if you've ever done the diamond paintings, it can get expensive and she doesn't even do them anymore but I still have all the stuff because what if she decides later to do them? And I don't know, maybe I'll do them, but all her sorting her colors, she's like her mama. She likes things sorted. So I thought that was really cute lined up and an RV table is not that big. This thing took up the whole table and she actually completed this and gave it to her older sister who loves sunflowers. But fun, fun, emotional memories in the RV. Honestly, I will tell you this, it made our family closer. Okay, so pull myself together and let's have some fun now. All right, part of the reason we scrap is to remember the good, the bad, and the ugly, right? And people who try to only scrap the good, I get kind of frustrated because life isn't always good. Like sometimes it's hard. Now don't get me wrong, if it would have just been me and my husband, we would have probably only bought land and lived in our RV. I mean, I, I love my RV to be honest, um, but you know, Kids, teenagers, they don't want to stay there. So, I don't know. I don't know if I like it here. I think I'm just gabbing too much and I need to focus. <laughs> I don't know where this is going to land. So, you know what I say? Go with what I know. I love this sunflower. Um, it was made during a swap. I wish I had a name on the back of it. It was made through the Love RTS. This is going on this layout. It is beautiful. I love how it's a little bit of a different color pot, so it'll stand out. I'm really thinking it's going to go over here, if I'm being honest, but who knows where it's going to end up. And I just have a bunch of embellishments, a bunch. I even pulled out a little frog because I do think that goes well with this. I'm not really sure. It could be maybe... Let's just go ahead and do what I do. I have the base all done, and then I like to um, just embellish and have fun. And I love that you guys hang out with me. I could maybe even pull that down there some more. That looks kind of good, actually. Who knows, we might either, I could maybe even cut it straight across. I don't know. I know this, it's going there. I like the little frog. This is going there. I don't know about the frog. We'll see what happens there. Um, I do have this too, so a bunch of floral elements. That's what I've done. I also have this little caterpillar that was done in a swap. It was made by Veronica and that would look cute on there too because we don't need this right here. This is just the edge of the diamond painting. So maybe instead of this, I could even go like this. That would be super, super cute. Maybe, I kind of like that better to be honest. So maybe we'll do that. That's the one thing about embellishment swaps. Boy, it will do the work for you when you have a bunch of them. So let's just see what we got. I have some butterflies. I, I have this beautiful tag too and I do, I love this. This is gorgeous. Um, this one was made by Rebecca. Um, who was this one made by? Oh, Linda Holt who made that one. Um, I have a bunch of froggy embellishments and who knows, maybe I'll just go with a bunch of bugs, right? I don't think that's gonna work. I'm liking this. I need a sentiment here. Dream big. Jill just had a, you know, we homeschooled, right? So it's one thing to homeschool and then to homeschool during a pandemic. So all of her extracurricular activities like dance and the things that she was doing, they got shut down. And then we lived in an RV. She was literally in a tiny space. She she just, she had a really hard time. Um, if you ask her now, she's like, oh, mom, I was fine. She wasn't, she wasn't. And mama's worry, right? That's what we do. Um, happy things, I like that. What if I were to put that here and move the caterpillar a little? 
thought I was gonna start up here, but that's not where this is going. But you guys know me. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Look how cute that is. That's really cute. Um, I also, Donna Clark gifted me these, oh, a while back. And then I have these. And I know these are from the Dollar Tree. We'll see what happens. I kind of lean towards the sunflowers just because that's, I mean, I know this has all different flowers in it. So I think really any flower would be okay. But we're, you know, I'm talking about a sunflower um, diamond painting. So maybe some of these would work. I mean, I could even, oh, look, this is a corner one even. They have some sparkly to them. Could I put this down here now? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. You guys know me. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I think I want a cluster here. I think I want a tiny cluster here. So I like this. Let's focus up here. We'll bring some, you guys know me in red. I gotta have some red. Maybe I can bring this here. Nothing that I put down stays down. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing today. <laughs> like, I got all emotional and that was it, I'm done. <laughs> oh, I like the little house because the RV was our home. That's just how it was until we decided what to do. There is love too. I could put that on there, although I like the happy things. I just, the blue's throwing me off a little bit. I need to pull this closer to me. Um, best day, that's cute. Home is, this one says home is where my family is at. I like that. I wonder if I could, could I maybe, I pulled this out for yesterday's layout, but what if I were to put that on there? And then I built off of that. I mean, it's this background. I don't know though. And it's got like a ribbon, which to me mimics these. Maybe. Okay, so new piece of wax paper. We're gonna do maybe, maybe. Guys, I go through so much wax paper. It's kind of crazy. If you would have told me wax paper would have been one of my um, needs for scrapbook, you know what I told you, you're crazy. Okay, but I kind of want more journaling than that. So, hmm, I can't, I can't focus now. <laughs> oh, that's too much, too much for me. You know, I'm kind of, I mean, I like this round element, mimics this, but what if I made a little flat, like a banner cluster over here? Let's do that. So I hope you guys are having a good day. Let me tell you how my week's been. Because by the time you see this, let's see, today's Monday. I have a video tomorrow, so you'll see this on Wednesday. Yeah. So, if you remember, not that long ago, I had um, to replace the rims on my tires. Well, I went to leave on Saturday with my, no, Friday. It was Friday last week. It wasn't even Saturday. And I had a flat tire. I didn't just have a flat tire. I had a flat tire. <laughs> no joke. And um, I'm going to have to pull out because my good scissors are out in the living room. I was watching TV. Um, and so we literally made it around the block before I had to turn around and come back. And um, what the heck is on here? And so... We ended up having to replace all of my tires, which we kind of knew we, I was gonna have to, but yeah, I was not. If anything else happens between my roof, my washer going out, our hot water heater going out, I'm about ready to go off the deep end. <laughs> like I really am. I'm about ready to lose it. Okay, so I need to make this one shorter. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm trying to make a small cluster over here. Oh my goodness. And obviously, I've said it many times, I cannot cut very straight. All right, so could I tuck this under here and go like so, and then maybe have a, have a little something up here? Kind of liking that. Gives me a base. 
and it mimics this, like I said. So I do like that. I almost wonder, should I do something here for a base? I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about that. I mean, I could go like that. Isn't that crazy how just a little piece of paper totally changes the vibe? Totally changes it. Okay, and I like this little caterpillar because he has this bright yellow and I use this. If you watched me make this kit, you know that every single, well, this and this are flip sides. Like this is the B side. No, that's not, I'm lying. This was in there. What is the B side of that? Oh, it was a gingham. It was a gingham. So this paper, this paper, they were all in there. Yeah, these are all for my kids except the red. That's what I, I knew something was. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I pulled this out of the scraps of, that I'm keeping to make base pages. I pulled that out just because I felt like it needed a different color. I only had the three and it wasn't working for me. Okay, I think I'm going to do this. I do not think I'm going to banner it. And I will straighten all this out so that you can't even see that edge like that. Okay, that's, and I do like happy things. If we find a different sentiment, that'll be good. Ooh, I have these butterflies that I've been trying to use forever and ever. These were gifted to me by Miss Debbie. She always sends me just the cutest little embellishments. And have you guys noticed I always end up using them because they're always sitting on my desk. I don't take the time to put them away. Okay, I kind of, uh, I don't really know if I want it on her that hmm what if I were to put this down here okay the reason being so you could see it a little better I just do my trial and error it's just my way okay I like that and then if I put this here with a sentiment I like it it's not bad I mean obviously I have to make sure it doesn't go off the page I mean, it's yellow, and I could put the other one, I mean, butterflies and caterpillars. Caterpillars turn into butterflies, right? It's my logic, I can say whatever I want. <laughs> That's kind of like, it's my party, I can do what I want. Yes. All right, so I keep wanting to put it up here. I do, but I do think that I need something to make that pop. And I could go just like this. No, maybe. I mean, I wanna make this a big cluster. What if I were to take this right here, little with some sunflowers and tuck it behind here. Now these little stickers are not easy, but if I were to go like this, Hmm. Gonna have to go up just a hair. Now I will put the G and the I on the bucket. I don't mind that. I think that's cute. Okay. Hmm. Still need a little something behind here. All right. So this is um, one of those cases where I think I'm gonna have to make the cluster so I can visualize. Visualize. Oh my gosh, big words. Small brain, <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, I might have to get another G, it's stuck on there pretty good. Oh, I got it, go me. There, something's working. Something's working for me. All right, so, or I could even move girl dad. All right, need a scrappy piece here. Hold on, hold on. Nope. Okay. I don't want to get it on here. I'm going to make the cluster and then put it there. That's that's my thinking right now. I'm going to do my best. So if I go like this, I'm going to want this to go up just a hair. Okay. Like so adventures all right and then i'm gonna put girl dad right here right put girl here g-i-r-l and then dad over here so 
I will straighten this out. I'm gonna have to obviously glue these at this point because I've taken them up too many times. And I'll make sure this is all even. But for the sake of the visual, we're gonna go like that. It's coming, it's coming. I love these butterflies, but I don't think they're working. Okay, girl dad, let's omit this. All right, and what if I put this back here, just like that, right? And then let's see what we have here. This can come up and sit right there. Again, I will straighten that out. I like that, I think that looks good. I could have this go just like so, but I don't think I like that either. What if I put this on here? Just like that. I could even layer this here. There's another, I had that scallop sitting there and go like that. Okay, and have that going like so. Ooh, I like that, see? I just had to work with it. That's what I needed to do. Okay, I think that looks cute. Now this one's too big. It's another sentiment. Hmm, I'm gonna have to make some of these fit to fill my clusters out, right? This is where you say, yeah, that sounds good, Jen. Oh, look, I could do like a bud here, like they're coming out. Oh, okay, okay, it's coming to me, it's coming. My brain does work. We could go like this. I like that, okay. I don't know about this one though. Maybe that one should go up there. Let's see here, one, two, buckle my shoe. Um, is this one attached? I think this one's attached to that. So, this one might not be. So here's my thinking. Just have it coming out of here. All right, so this one needs to come off and this one needs to go on, but I'm gonna have to tuck this underneath here somewhere or cut it, one of the two. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think that'll work. No, I don't know. I don't like how that's sitting there. I want it to like sit right here. Well, that, that might work, okay. I'm gonna put happy things over this. I might end up cutting that one leaf off when I go to glue it down. I'm gonna say that's 90% probably gonna happen. All right, and then, where's my house? This house just, as much as I wanna put it in there, it's, it's not working. Okay, it's just not. I need a sentiment, and then I need to figure out, maybe, is this one too big? layer these in somewhere. All right, let's 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 think about this. All right, these are too big. As much as I want them, they're too big. But, let's see here. I do have these, no, no. I have a chicken. <laughs> I put a chicken on there. Why not? Caterpillars, chickens. <laughs> oh, duck, let's fuck duck. <laughs> I like that, but I think I like this one better. It's got a little bee on it, he's cute. And I could tuck it right like that. I'm not gonna push it down. Okay, and then I need a sentiment to go there. I think that's the ticket, and these I need to just layer throughout this title, right? This is the part where you go, yeah, Jen, yeah. I like your thinking. Let's let's beef this up. Okay, might have to go like, what is this here? Oh, here we go, I can tuck it in here. These are layered, so I could just go like, go like that. Have one more coming out. No, that looks stupid. Come on, Jen. Yes. <laughs> I just said that. Mm. All right, I'm gonna play with this. I will get it in here. I think I need to cut it apart. Well, why am I, just do it, Jen. Yep, talking to myself some more. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> Anybody else? 
that he would have joined me. <laughs> okay, I do need to put this on wax paper though because I don't want to make my scissors all gummy. I've shown you guys that before. I'll put it on wax paper so that the sticky part doesn't hit my scissors. All right, so I'm thinking what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna cut this part off. There's that. That's still stuck on there, but that's okay. Do I wanna cut it in half? I think I do. I think I'm gonna kind of take a lot of this off. It's a dollar store sticker. I can do what I want with it. And I'm just gonna kinda go around it because I might end up using that one, I'm not sure. But now, look, I could tuck it right in there and that looks good, see? And then what if I took this and I cut this off? I mean, if I really wanted to, I could even take these layers apart, but I will tell you the bottom part of them is always sticky and they get stuck everywhere. All right, and I'm gonna put this in here, just like that, look at that. Ha, huh. I made it work. <laughs> this thrills me. Okay, and then I do, I think, I think that's good. I think that's gonna be the page. I'm gonna find some kind of sentiment to put there and we'll go over that. And then, oh my goodness, I got a mess here. And then I will, um, come back. I think I'm going to use black enamel dots. Yeah, I am. Maybe gray. I don't know. All right. I will be back. <laughs> Thanks for going through it with me. I'll be right back. Right. I got it all glued down. I got my emotions together. <laughs> I think it turned out really, really cute. I did. I add family heels here just because that's kind of the whole reason for the layout. Um, and then I, um, what did I do over here? Oh, I did kind of catty, wampus, crooked, crooked, <laughs> everybody says it, um, put girl dad, just because I could not get them to lay straight. So when in doubt, just make them crooked on purpose. I moved this from here to here. I just kind of liked the way that it um, looked better there. It was um, just kind of draw your eye along the journaling because to me the journaling means a lot on this layout and then I did just the black enamel dots I did cut this off um, I added this little flower I cut apart I cut apart the base I only have this left but that's okay and it yeah it all came together you know I know that I kind of went over you know why I I'm doing this layout, but I think it's important for us to do these little things here because our kids aren't going to remember this moment. I mean, she'll remember that she didn't have the best time in the RV, but is she going to remember this where her dad sat with her? Probably not. She'll remember that she didn't have the best time. It's the little things. This is why I scrapbook. I share the things that touch me for them. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm crying again. Okay. I, I I don't know. I need, <laughs> I need like something funny. I don't know what's going on with me. Maybe it's menopause. <laughs> I don't know. You guys, one minute I'm hot. The next minute I'm freezing. It's 103. How am I cold? Yeah. Okay. I'm just rambling. All right. Thank you for hanging out with me. Crazy day. Sorry. <laughs> Another adventure. I adore you all, and I can't wait to make base pages. I've almost been more excited about making the base pages. I've been trying to go through these layouts so that we can get to that part. So we will do that next time in this series. And with that, I will see you guys later. Thanks for putting up with me. I'll see you later. Bye.